If I could only keep one bag in my collection from Hermes, this would have to be the one. Hi guys, my name is GPS and welcome back to my channel. Today, instead of chatting about what's new and what I'll be adding to my collection next, I thought I would have a look at my already existing collection and share with you my most used and most complimented pieces from each category of my wardrobe. And believe it or not, the pieces that I wear pretty much at all times are not my most unique or rarest or not even necessarily my favorite pieces from everything that I own. However, I tend to gravitate towards these for some reason. So if you want to find out what luxury pieces I truly got my money's worth out of, then please keep on watching. The category that I want to start with is ready to wear. And it's because you guys always ask me to talk about ready to wear, but I never do. So I thought that I would try to include it in more videos. And my most worn ready to wear piece from a luxury house by far has to be this style of t-shirt from Hermes, which is called the Age Embroidery T-shirt. And I have a countless number of these. I absolutely love this t-shirt, especially in black. It's just such a classic. It's extremely simple and it pretty much goes with every single outfit. When I worked in an office, these t-shirts were the only thing that I ever wore because you can easily throw a simple blazer over these. They look amazing with mom-mom blazers. You can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with really whatever you want to. And you can either make them look as casual as you please or as smart and dressy. And they're made of a thicker cotton fabric, which makes them just a little bit smarter and a little bit more well put together than just a regular t-shirt. But other than that, it's super simplistic. It only has this little pocket on the front and an H embroidered, which I think the name comes from H embroidery. You guys have probably seen me wear this in maybe 70% of my videos. And that's because this is really one of the only things that I ever wear. They are available in a bunch of different colors. Each season they add new, more unique and seasonal colors, but they're always available in the primary colors. And I find them to be a great investment if you're just starting to build your ready-to-wear collection. I even have some from certain seasons when Hermes went wild, they went crazy, and they added a different color ribbon to the collar. Sometimes you can pick up those, but you can always find them in solid colors. So I really think that they are a great luxury starter piece. I also wanted to give a shout out to one of my jackets because you guys would never see me wear a jacket in my videos because why would I be sitting here in a jacket? But it is a piece that I really value in my collection and I have loved it for many years now. And it's the warm up fleece from Hermes, which is actually from their equestrian collection. The only thing that it really means is that it's going to be a little bit more reasonably priced than their regular ready to wear. So I have absolutely loved that jacket. It might look like something that an older gentleman would wear to the golf course, but trust me, you can style it in many different ways. It's pretty much the only jacket that I ever wear. Even in the winter, it's great to put it on underneath like a thinner cashmere coat. And it's going to help you stay warm if you're not into those bigger, puffier jackets. So if you're looking for a piece that you know you're going to have in your collection for a long, long time and it's worth investing in, I would highly recommend that you check out the warm-up jacket. And it's actually available both in the men's and the women's collection. Let's move on to shoes. And my most worn pair would have to be this pair of sneakers from Chanel. I'll put a picture of them up here. And I absolutely love these because they are super simple, but extremely, extremely comfortable. I find the soles to be extremely flexible, which somehow makes it a dream to walk in. It's probably one of the only pairs of shoes that I ever wear. They are incredible quality. They just look super stylish and chic, no matter what you want to wear it with. And they have recently started making them in the men's collection. So now they're available both for men and women. It never stopped me before. I bought it in the women's collection, just in the largest size. And it's a style that comes out every single year in different fabrics and finishes. I remember for winter, they came out with a version that was made of like this fuzzy, almost knitted fabric. For the season, they launched them in sequence. So if you are all about the sparkle, then this is the time to pick them up. But my favorite one is still just the most simplistic one in the neoprene fabric, which comes in a couple of different colors. Obviously my favorite color is black. So I bought the black one with the white CC on it. I think they are a great choice and a great addition to anyone's collection. 
in general, to be honest, Chanel sneakers I find to be the most comfortable and the best quality out there. So if you're looking for a new pair of shoes, then I would highly recommend that you look into the Chanel sneakers. Next up, let's talk about leather goods. And the first category that I wanted to mention is bag accessories. Because while I do not think that they are the best pieces to start your collection with, if you have an existing collection, I think they are a great way to size up your bags. And I do have quite an extensive collection of bag charms and bag accessories, but it was actually really easy for me to pick the one that I use the most because it's also my favorite, as well as the one that I get the most compliments on. And it's actually this necklace from Hermes that I use as a bag charm. I do talk about this in previous videos, so I'm going to have them linked up here in case you want to see what it looks like on an actual bag. Every single time I wear this to an Hermes store, I always get compliments and questions whether this is a bag charm or I just put a necklace onto my bag. And yes, I just put a necklace onto my bag, but I have been a huge fan of this and I think it just looks a little bit more special than wearing, let's say, a rodeo. But I think the runner-up, or maybe it's a tie, I don't even know at this point, but I do think I have worn this a little bit more. But the runner-up would have to be my Rodeo in MM size in the Solid Bird Cypress colorway, which I have also worn a ton. Let's move on to actual small leather goods and SLGs. And for me, this was actually a really easy pick because I knew exactly what piece I have worn the most out of everything that I own, which is quite a lot. I have built up quite an extensive collection of SLGs, unfortunately, because I personally don't think that you need a big collection of SLGs. I talk about it all the time. So please learn from my mistake. But the piece that I have absolutely worn the most, which has really been a good investment for me, has to be my Kelly wallet. I adore this wallet. It's a piece that I pretty much wore on a daily basis for the longest time when I first got it for about a year or so. And I fell so much in love with the Kelly wallets that I bought quite a few of them, unfortunately. And if I could go back in time, I certainly wouldn't. This particular one is an Epsom, which I think is the perfect leather to go for if you're buying your first wallet because it's quite durable, it's quite scratch resistant. And what I like about this one is that it's actually a different color on the inside, which I think just makes it a little bit more special. But if you are looking for a piece to invest in from Hermes, then I think the Kelly wallet is a great choice because you can not only use this as a wallet, but you can carry this out as a clutch bag. It fits a phone as well as your keys. You can even put a chain or even a longer scarf on this to wear it as a crossbody bag. And for me, this has been one of the best investments from Hermes, but you don't need more than one. And I have to give a quick shout out to my Bolin travel case. I know I have talked about it in previous videos, but it was really, again, a close second to my Kelly wallet because I use my Bolin travel case all the time. It's a wonderful, multifaceted piece that you can use as a makeup bag, as a clutch bag, as a travel case for makeup and cosmetics, or even as a crossbody bag. So I'll make sure to link a couple of videos up here where I talk about that. It is an incredible piece that you have to check out if you're new to the world of Hermes, because it's a beautiful piece and it's quite a bit more affordable than let's say a Kelly wallet. Well, actually a lot more affordable than a Kelly wallet. And last but not least, let's talk about the most exciting category, bags. And this was probably the hardest one for me to choose. I was really split between a couple of my bags. And please do not tell my mini-clay that I'm choosing this. But if I could only keep one bag in my collection from Hermes, or just one bag in general, this would have to be the one. And it is my Kelly 35 in Return in black Togo leather with gold hardware. I absolutely love this bag and I think it's just a classic. For me, the size 35 is really just a great size. With my proportions and my frame, I find it to be a good size for me. And this is really a bag that you can dress up, dress down, you can wear it in a more casual way by pulling the sides out and putting on the shoulder strap and make it look a little bit more supple and lived in. Or you can also make it look a little bit more structured by completely closing it up like I did here. So I really think it is an amazing piece. And I know that it's all about small bags nowadays, but I have a feeling that bigger bags will be back in style in no time. So I'm really glad that I didn't get rid of this when the small bags first started growing in the fashion world. I love using this bag not only on a regular basis, but it's also a great style to use for traveling because it does fit a lot. 
But if you find that a 35 would be a little bit too large for your frame, you can also look at the size 32 in a Kelly or a size 30 in a Birkin because they do have kind of a similar feel to them. They can go either way. They can be dressed up or dressed down. You can wear them to work and they do hold quite a bit, but you can also wear them to a more formal event. Whereas maybe a Birkin 25 or a Kelly 25 might be a little bit too small to carry all your essentials on a daily basis. However, I don't think you will bump into those issues when you have one of these bags. And if you have been thinking about picking up a Birkin or a Kelly 35, then I think it is the right time to do it now because I have never seen these bags being sold at such a low price as they're being sold now on the secondhand and resale market. Obviously, you should always do your own research when you are buying something from a reseller or from a pre-loved store. But I'm going to have my video linked up here where I talk about my personal experience. But anyway, this bag has really been one of the best investments in my collection. I'm thrilled that I never got rid of this and I know that I never will because it's a style that I'll be able to carry forever. And this is it guys, this completes my video on my most used pieces. If there are any other topics that you'd want me to make a video on, then please leave your request in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That helps my channel out tremendously. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.